That's right, they will not be following Coeur d'Alene or Lakeland Joint School District by moving to all in-person classes. In a special meeting today, board members decided to wait another couple of weeks. I spoke with a parent who couldn't be happier. Tammy Lowe has two kids in the Post Falls School District and another who is homeschooled. Riley is severely immunocompromised. He's endured cancer, needs a lung transplant, and has special needs. Oh, I just am so relieved. I, they're, they're exceptional because they're not just caving because Lakeland and Coeur d'Alene are doing it. Although Riley does not attend the school, his older siblings do. His brother Brandon is a freshman in high school in the special needs program. The debate of virtual learning is difficult because on one hand, he needs to be in person for his education, but the other is the risk of getting Riley sick. So a virus like this could totally destroy him. With flu season coming up, she says she cannot imagine a positive outcome for returning to in-person learning so early in the school year. She understands that people want their kids in school full time, but she's asking for parents to take a step back and think with more compassion. It is more about rights and, you know, me, me, me. And, you know, saying that if, if Riley doesn't matter is like saying to a pro-lifer, oh, it's just one abortion, it's no big deal. It's, he's a life and he's worth it. But for right now, she is putting her faith and her kids into the board members' hands. Board members said they'll reconsider opening up at the next school board meeting, given that the cases don't rise and the school doesn't have an outbreak. Reporting in Spokane, Morgan Trow, Krem2 News.